Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create a Proxmox cloud init template. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, what is cloud init? Okay. So if you go to the Proxmox website and type cloud init, you get this page here. So actually cloud init is de facto multi distribution package that handles early initialization of virtual machine instances. Okay. So in simple words, you create an image and before that image can run, you can customize some parameters. You can customize the host name, the DNS server, the DNS domain name, also the SSH key or actually the IP addresses. So all these parameters can be actually customized before the image actually runs. Okay. And this is the concept used in most of the cloud providers like AWS, Amazon Web Services or uh, Microsoft Azure or uh, Google Cloud Platform. So they offer you an image and before you run actually your virtual machine, you can customize some settings. So this concept can also be actually used in Proxmox. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. Okay. So here I am on my Proxmox. So before create this image, we have actually to download some special images called cloud images. Okay. So you can find them in Debian or Ubuntu or CentOS. So there are many distributions that offers you actually to download this cloud images. Okay. So here I'm going to just go to the Debian cloud images. So if you go, actually, let me show you, if you type on Google uh, Debian cloud images, the first, the first link actually will lead you to download these images. So I'm going here to the bottom and I choose whatever distribution I want. So for example, let's lose this boost I version. I'm going actually to the latest folder here. And here you will find a bunch of images. So I will be downloading actually this uh, Debian 11 generic EMD 64 image. Okay. So here take note of the extension is QCOW2. So this is image that will be actually using for our demonstration here. So the first thing that we have to do is to copy the link in order to download this image. So I will just right click and copy link address. Then I will go to actually uh, my Proxmox and into the shell of my Proxmox. So first of all, let me show you where I am. I am in slash root and if I list, I have just some files here. So I will download the image using the link. So simple way is to use wget command. Then I will paste the link that I have copied from the Debian sites. Okay. And I will hit enter and the image as you will see here will be actually downloaded soon. Okay. So we will wait for the download to be completed. So it's almost finished. Okay. So now the image is downloaded. Let's list that. And here we go. You can see that we have now our image. Okay. So the first step is actually to create VM using this image. Okay. So actually here we'll be creating first of all the template using the command line so we'll use this uh, qm command okay create then the id number so here on my uh, proxmox i have a lot of ids so i will begin for example but by 130 but you can change that according to your uh, proxmox settings then here you will give uh, name so I will give it for example Debian template 
and for memory I will just stick with 1 gigabytes and for the net zero I will stick also with the default so this virtue and bridge the MPR zero are the default one when you create actually images on Proxmox so this is the first command that we'll be creating here we go and here if you go you can see here on Proxmox that uh, the template actually has been initialized so you can see now uh, a template with the name Debian 11 template has been created here as you can see next step next step is actually to import this uh, image that we have downloaded as a disk to our template here so I'll be using this command so QM import disk and ID of our VM which is in this case 130 okay then the image name so the Debian generic EMD QCOW2 and here very important parameter is the your local storage so normally it's local LVM or something like that but me I have actually renamed it to storage so you have actually to replace it with the one that you have and in order to make sure that it's storage you click on it and you can see that we have some VM disk so this is the one that we'll be using so all my VMs actually are located in this disk here in the storage so let's go back to our shell here okay and I will hit once again or I will paste the commands in order to import the disk so I will click on it here we go so now you can see that I have successfully imported disk as this name here so this name is also very important you have to copy it because you will use it in the next command so as I told you you must copy this uh, storage here so actually this is the disk that you will be actually applying to your template so let's go to the next command so here we go so this is the command qm set and id of our template then we associate actually the disk that has been created to our VM and let's run that here you can see update VM 130 which means the operation has successfully executed okay so the next command will create what we call a cloud init CD-ROM drive to associate with the cloud init image using this command so remember also to change this storage to the name of the storage that you have as I told you in most of the cases you use local LVM but here I rename it to storage okay here we go so the IGE2 has successfully been created okay so we are done the next commands are pretty straightforward actually we are set up a boot disk for our uh, template here here we go then we'll add a serial console to our VM okay then we will add actually IP stack as DHCP okay here we go so everything is okay now and the final steps is to resize the disk of our VM because by default it will use the size of the image which is around 2 gigabytes but you can resize it to your needs so here I will just use uh, 8 gigabytes that's enough for me okay then the final st steps is actually to convert this VM to a template okay here we go and you can see now here 
even the icon of our uh, VM has been changed from screen to screen with something like a template here so here you can see that we have indeed our templates okay so now we are done with configuring our templates all we have to do now whenever we want to use this uh, template we have to clone it okay and we can customize its actually parameters I will show you how now so the process is pretty simple. Let's say that I want a Debian image with some customized parameters. So all I have to do is to right click on this uh, template here, Debian, and we have to clone it, okay? So here we can uh, give it a name, for example, Debian uh, 11, okay? Then we change the mode to uh, full clone, okay? and we clone it and here we go you can see 129 has been created so this is our cloud init image so if I click on it you will notice that it differs with the other VMs we have here a cloud init tab that we can actually use to change our parameters so I can change, for example, the user. So I will edit it and I can give it whatever user I want. For example, I mean, here we go. I can change the password also. Let's choose a password. Here we go. I can even change the DNS server. And all the settings are changed before the machine actually runs. So I will use the Google DNS server. Here we go. I can also set the SSH public key if I want. I can change the IP address without actually running the machine. So let's use, for example, uh, IPv4. Here we go, 100.168.100. Let's say 5 slash 24. I can give it a getaway, for example, uh, 100. Actually, I have to use the one for my router okay let's change that to six for example here we go and after you finished customizing the parameters you can regenerate image here we go and now you can run your Debian 11 machine so let's start it and go to the console and see what we get so it's get actually booting up okay and you will see in the output some cloud init messages because it will actually, as you can see here, cloud init, it will use the parameters that we have used in our cloud init. Okay. So this is our prompt. Remember, we have entered actually uh, a special user called Amina. So let's test it. As you can see, I am N. Let's verify the IP addresses, IPA. And you can see indeed, we have the IP address that we have configured, okay? So everything is working fine. So that was just a brief video to show you how you can use or create a cloud init Proxmox template. As always, I hope it has been informative for you. And I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.